Hello and welcome to this video on Emacs bookmarks. Um, bookmarks are something that I've discovered recently and I'm finding very useful, very powerful. Um, they're built into Emacs, so there's no installation required of a different package. Um, they There is some config that I'll go through, which most of the time you probably won't need to do. Um, I'm kind of in a unique situation here that I have two configs so I, and I'll have two sets of bookmarks. Um, although some of the options will be useful. So let's go through the basics first. So to add a bookmark, well, first of all, let's open our init file because we're going to be working in here a little bit. So to add a bookmark is control X R M. Whoa, control X, control X, control C R M. What? control X R M. Yeah, control X R M. What did I do before? Did I hold control down? Probably. I do that all the time. So you can set a bookmark by control X, R, M. Um, control plus X, then R, then M. Um, so by default, it will the bookmark will be named the uh, name of the file. But you can, if you type something, so I can say, okay, bookmarks config. If I do that, and then that's saved. There we go. We've created a bookmark for this file. Let's just save that file and get rid of that M. I must have added that when I was just mashing the keyboard before. Um, you can list your bookmarks, Control X R L for list. And uh, you can see I've got some other bookmarks. So when my um, when I load when I opened this when I opened Emacs, there is a default bookmarks location which is .emacs.d forward slash bookmarks. And because I use this in my other, com I use bookmarks in my other config. That's the default location for that file. When I loaded this config, it loaded the bookmarks from that file. Um, however, now that I've just added a bookmark, that won't actually show in my other config unless I save that bookmarks file. So the way you, the bookmarks work in Emacs, when you're um, on on load, it'll load a file, the bookmarks file. By default, it'll be the default location. You can check change that. Uh, setting that we're gonna I'm gonna change that in a minute because I want different bookmarks here um, but it doesn't save any changes that you make to the bookmarks until you quit Emacs and that's what if you quit manually if for some reason Emacs closes or your computer switches off to the power cut whatever then any changes that you've made to your bookmarks won't be saved um, so yeah, bear that in mind. I'm going to show you the config for changing where the file is and how to kind of automatically save things uh, in a in a little bit. But if we um, let's just add another uh, add another bookmark. So we'll go test project app, and yeah, we want to add this. So Control X R M um, test project entry. I mean, I know we've got projectile, which I think is probably essentially a wrapper around bookmarks. But anyway, we'll we'll do this for this project. So then, if I wanted to go to a different bookmark, so if I wanted to go back to my uh, my config, I can do Control X R uh, B to jump to bookmark. So I, it, by default, test project entry. That's the latest one. If I press Tab, it shows all my other. Um, on my other bookmarks, and then I can just Emacs. There we go. And I've just realised that my config is named something weird. And as you can see, where we set our we set our bookmark on the second character. So when we jump back, I believe that's why we're on the second character. But that might just be because I was already on the second character and the file was open. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But anyway, um, as I said, I've only just kind of started using bookmarks, but I really like them, so I thought I'd do this video. So. That's all well and good, but as I've said, I've got some um, some bookmarks in there from my other config. So if we just create a bookmarks section, um, if you've not seen my last video, I went through and I moved our config into this org file. So you can go and watch that if, if you're interested in why, why my config looks like this. Um, so default, well, set bookmarks file. So we're just going to set the bookmarks file. Uh, we're going to begin source emacs lisp. Ooh, ooh, end source here. Um, so set queue bookmark default file. 
oops, how you set the default file, and we want this to be Emacs, or I want this to be Emacs tut bookmarks. That's where I want my bookmarks to be saved. So I'll do, I'll execute that. Um, and if I now say save uh, bookmark save, okay, that's saved to emacs.du tut bookmarks. And if I open that file, tut bookmarks, here you can see we've got test project entry, emacs conniv uh, work, file um, ideas and mynet.org and they're, they're, they're from my other config as I've said but because they were loaded into Emacs when I started when I saved this file they get saved into there but we'll delete them in a minute and I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you a, a, an easier way to save things as well. Um, in this file you've got the name of the the name of the bookmark, the file name, the, the I think this matches to the line to load um, so it's basically a line match or a search string that it's looking for. And then the position, I, d I don't know what that is. I'll be honest, I don't know. But it's probably useful and everything works with it. So I'm, I'm good. Okay, so we've done that. Um, and we've saved, we've forced saved. However, this still requires some manual intervention, right? To save bookmarks. So if you add a bookmark or you delete a bookmark, you need to save it manually. So if I, if I um, if I just do bookmark delete, and then I want to get rid of my init.org, which is my other config, get rid of that. If I now reload the tut bookmarks file, um, my init.org is still there because I'm not saved my bookmarks. And again, I can save it. I can save it manually by bookmark save. Saving to bookmarks, emxd took bookmarks. So if I control xf, go back to took bookmarks, you can see it's now being removed. But I don't want to have to do that every time, right? I don't want to have to save every time I add a bookmark, save something because that's just twice the amount of work. I just want to be able to add bookmarks, delete bookmarks, get on with my life. So um, we can save bookmarks when modified, which means that. Obviously, you don't get this, the buffer that if you make a mistake with your bookmarks or you add or delete something that you didn't mean to, um, that you know it doesn't get saved immediately. But with this, with this setting, it just means that we um, bookmark save flag one. It basically just means that when there's a change, we save the file, um, which is both good and bad. I prefer it because, I mean, obviously, I've made a mistake with that with my config name. But, and that would be saved immediately, and you know I can't rename it or whatever, but I'm fine with that. So it's also also worth noting that this number one here, that is the number of changes to wait for before it saves. So if that was set to five, you could make five changes to your bookmarks, um, to your list of bookmarks, and then it would save. So you know if you're creating a lot of bookmarks, deleting a lot of bookmarks, you maybe don't want to save every single time, but I don't do I don't save create and save bookmarks that often. I've just got a few that I've created. Uh, I'll probably add some more over time. So I'll just I'm, I'm fine with it just saving immediately. Um, so once that's executed, if I now uh, bookmark delete and I say what don't I want here? I don't want ideas.org. So I have to get rid of that. You can see immediately it says saving bookmark to file. And then if I open up my bookmarks, yep ideas has gone. So if I just uh, bookmark delete, what was the last one? Work. This isn't a work config. I don't want to see it. So there, and then if we tut, bookmarks, it's gone. So now we've just got our two bookmarks. That's great. But, you know, when we start, it, it'd be nice to be able to get these bookmarks, to get to these bookmarks easily when we start Emacs, right? So. Luckily, we installed a package called Dashboard, which allows us to do just that. So in here, Dashboard Items, so if we just refresh our memory of what the dashboard is, we have these Dashboard Items. So we have Recent Files and Projects. So if we go back here, Recent Files and Projects. Hmm. So if we just go in here and go Bookmarks, and let's say we want to see two bookmarks, Save that. Go down here. 
execute, go back to the dashboard, refresh it, we get this bookmarks list at the bottom, which you get to by pressing M. M is the shortcut. Um, so yeah, so there you go. There's test project entry that we added and the Emacs config. You can just click return on that, hit return on that, hit return on that, and there you go. There's some bookmarks. Uh, like I say, very powerful, very useful. Um, and yeah, it also means that I can, if I go down here, I can get rid of, I can get rid of these, so I can just get rid of this. If I just, let's see if that works. Go back over here, press G. Yep, my init file link has gone, and now I can just use my, my bookmarks to get to the files that I want. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, comments, suggestions, let me know. Uh, I went a bit all over the place in this video, I think, because uh, bookmarks are new to me. I'm still learning them. So, you know, we're, we're kind of at that point where I've, I've shown all the basic stuff in these videos that I have. Uh, not basic stuff, but the, my, my base config that I use day in, day out. Um, that I'm a lot more comfortable with. Now I'm getting into areas where I'm finding things, I'm experimenting with things. And if I haven't said it before, which I think I have, you know, I've, I've been using Emacs for, um, for about a year. So there is still loads for me to learn. Um, and I am still learning. So, and again, if you've got any suggestions for packages that I should check out, then please do let me know and I'll have a look and I'll, I may do a video on them if, you know, something that I think is useful. Um, or I think it might be useful to other people. Uh, with that being said, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate any likes and subscribes. Um, if you're on YouTube and if you're on Library, I appreciate a tip and a follow. Uh, leave a comment below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.